Okay, we're continuing on with our third session of training with uh, building smartphones in Freonce Mobile. And we're out of ArcGIS server and ArcMap, and we're into Freonce Mobile. And uh, what we would like to do first is connect to our databases we just made. We published those ArcGIS server map services with the important feature service toggled on. And very important to remember now, uh, one, one little trick here is before I set the database resource and I add it, I need to go into uh, and clear the ArcGIS server cache. You'll have to do this for other operations. I'm just showing you here. I jumped into the ArcGIS server remote machine and I typed in the uh, browser for the administrator and just clear that cache. Uh, until you do that, your feature service will not show up in Freonce Mobile. And, uh, yeah, a little frustrating, but, but, but uh, you go ahead and do this and you won't be frustrated. So let's go ahead and get out of our, uh, our uh, remote connection and we're back into Freonce server. So let's come in here. As I said, we, we hit database resource because I need to connect to a database. And our database is ArcGIS server. And my server address is what I like about Freonce is the internal IP for the GIS server. We don't have to expose that to the outside world. Only Freonce server we have to expose for the iPhone and the Android devices. Go ahead and hit connect and we'll see a list of map services and sure enough there are our pond inspection feature service map service grab the feature service because that's one we want to edit and create and uh, here's all our let's let's call it PG inspect Spell it all out. That way I'll know exactly what it is. SDE. And uh, uh, go ahead and allow people to uh, insert, update, edit, and delete these records in these tables. And sure enough, we should have our uh, tables. Uh, facilities, centroids, uh, form, so forth. Uh, you notice there's domains here. Those are for uh, Freonce, or sorry, SDE domains. Uh, we're not going to tackle this. We'll do that in another training session. Go ahead and hit apply. And that's it. We've, we've connected a, a map resource or a database resource to that. Next thing we want to do is come down and make a, a form, a smart form. So we'll go ahead and hit add. And that form is going to be pond inspection. Okay. And it's going to be a new, not a search, but a new form. And our database resource is going to be what we just entered. We have the bottom of the list there. And the table is not going to be SDE domains. It is going to be the form. Okay, we'll do uh, preferred online, a list cache or not cache. We'll go ahead and hit apply. And here we have all the fields open for our end user to modify. So here's what we're going to do in here. We're going to come in and grab the device ID is device ID that's from the phone go ahead and set that that's what we put that in there for we don't have a phone field number the edit user ID let's go object ID and let's start managing the fields that our end user is going to use to edit out in the field so we don't want them editing 
geometry. We don't want him editing device ID, satellite count, satellite accuracy. Those are all going to come right from the device when I grab my GPS. So let's get rid of those. Uh, up on the top, let's go ahead and get rid of object ID. These are fields that I don't want the end user to edit out the field. Okay. Now, uh, our first field here, uh, we get to change our fields and let them uh, be pull downs or date stamps or whatever. So let's come in here and say, well, the date is going to be a date stamp. And it's going to be current time, not a custom time. Go ahead and hit apply. Okay. Uh, our uh, first field that we want to pull down on is erosion. EC erosion. So that's not a text. That's going to be a drop down. And it's going to be yes, no, or not available. Yes, yes, no, no. N A Okay. And we're actually gonna edit uh actually we want no to be our first field. Sorry about that, but we want no to be our first field. I'm gonna tell you why. Because we want no to be the default field because uh, when no comes up, we want to hide some fields. So we're going to edit and we're going to hide under erosion monitor, repair, and comment. So when it's no, those don't show up. And when it's yes, they do. So we'll go ahead and hit apply. And we want to do that for all those. I want to come down erosion settlement and the other ones under here settlement cracking veg woody I want all these to be the same I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and do it and return uh, when I've done these okay we're we're back here and we filled out all of these uh, fields uh, that are our subject fields like cracking vegetation, uh, woody vegetation, and I'll just open one again to show you what I did was we we have a pull down that it's either replies yes, no, or not available. And when it's no, the first default field, I want some fields hidden. So under vegetation, I want vegetation monitor, repair, and comment so that those fields only come up when we hit yes. You'll notice that if I go under vegetation and hit uh, the yes edit uh, those fields aren't selected so they will show up so they're hidden to begin with and then uh, when I hit yes they appear so what's nice about that is we keep our form a lot shorter I mean by a third two-thirds shorter okay so we have our fields for our data entry uh, we need to add our fields though for uh, some more GPS and data photos so let's come in here and add a field. Go ahead and hit the pull down, go all the way to the bottom and you'll see uh, location. That's going to allow us to add our GPS and also add photos. I mean we'll just probably always add these. Hit add and they're going to be on the bottom. And then add location. We've got to edit that field. And we want the geometry field where we're going to put our lat long uh, in the geometry field, the ArcGIS geometry field. And the accuracy field is what that was going to be the satellite at that we put in there. 
and accuracy requirements. Uh, let's give it uh, 20, 20 meters. And the time field is going to be that time stamp we put in there. So we're using those fields that we entered. Go ahead and hit apply. And let's go in and edit the photo field. Photo we're going to put in a file storage. And the photo field is going to be at photo long. We made purposely long photo name. Go ahead and hit apply. And uh, we're done. Uh, the thing we may want to do is <coughs> go ahead and uh, put location uh, up here towards the top because what I want to do is have that pop up right away when my uh, end user goes into the form. So we can move fields up and down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, there we go. We got our location all the way to the top. So now our, our form is done. Let's go ahead and hit apply. And at this point, it's saying these fields might be a little long and they're truncated, but, but that's okay. Here's what we'll go ahead and do. We'll go ahead and we'll go back into that field. And uh, I'll show you that we can... PG Pond Inspection, we can uh, uh, alias these fields. So let's take out uh, uh, EC cracking repair. We don't need uh, the underscore EC. So we'll go ahead and clean these up, make them look presentable for our end user. can even knock down, uh, in this case, probably the settlement. Uh, take out that. So, so we've modified all our fields here, field aliases. We could clean them up even more uh, if we'd like to. Uh, make them clear English uh, text that uh, end users understand. Okay. Now let's uh, come in and, and we need to do one more thing. We need to put that form into a project. Uh, we can put it into an existing one or a new one. Uh, let's go ahead and, and put it in. Uh, let's go ahead and put it in a new one. We'll go ahead and call it inspections. All right, there we go. We'll go ahead and add that form under inspections. Go ahead and grab that form. And we'll call it uh, Pond Inspections for our end user to understand. Form name is going to be uh, Pond Inspections. Put under here uh, pond inspections GPS and photos. There we go. We'll go ahead and add that. Hit apply. We need to do one more thing before we start using this on our iPhone, Androids, and tablets. We need to go under profile and publish it under a profile. So let's go ahead and uh, add a profile that's uh, inspections. And it's going to be uh, forms. Go ahead and hit apply. And the profile is going to be that uh, inspections. GPS forms. The 
field inspections. There we go. Let's go ahead and hit apply. And at this point we're done. We can uh, call up our forms. Uh, the only thing we might want to do is if you want uh, authentication, user login and password, this is where you would put that in. If, uh, if not, just default. Go ahead and hit add. And, and by the way, those are handled over here in uh, user accounts. We create those. So go ahead and hit apply. That's where you set username and passwords. Uh, there we go. We're done there. Uh, and now we're ready to look at this on the iPhone and the Android. Uh, that was uh, creating a form. Uh, the next uh, session we'll go into is creating a uh, a uh, digitizing on a map, not taking from a GPS form, but entering data from digitizing on a map. We're going to use the same database resource, and uh, that'll be in our last and fourth session here.